Okay, good morning class. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, it's math. I know it's 8 in the morning, but you know it's math and we're going to have fun. Okay. You know we've been working on two-digit multiplication and um, I just want to make sure that you all remember what we did just yesterday. So, as usual, we have a little quiz in the morning on quiz assessment just to make sure that what we learned yesterday is connected to today. So, on the board, what I'd like you to do on your whiteboards in front of you with your marker, go ahead and write this problem down. Um, the 23 times 12. And that's where you're going to multiply. Okay, and just use your, your regular techniques. This is traditional multiplication, okay? And we have, we're, I'm gonna give you a, about a minute and a half to do that, okay? And I not only want you to multiply, but also to check the traditional checking where you flip the two numbers, okay? And so let me uh, turn off, you wanna get the lights for me? Okay. Okay. Can we see that? Everybody see that? Okay, and what I'm asking you is please multiply and check a two by two uh, digit multiplication problems below. The first one is just a simple multiplication, but to check multiplication, you would just simply flip it and do the same thing. So let's do that. Like I said, we have about a minute and a half, and meanwhile, I'll check row to make sure everybody's here. Okay, um, time's up. Okay, so tell me, Marcelli, what did you get um, for that? For the answer? Yes, for the multiplication, what did you get? I got 276. 276, okay. And when you checked it, the tra traditional way, did you get the same I, answer? I got the same answer. Okay, great. Now, um, as previously we talked about uh, the traditional multiplication and checking, you will have um, what we call, these are the factors, okay? These are the factors here. And then you will have your product as your answer. However, whenever you're using two digits, you will have a partial project product here and a partial product there. And then you'll get your final answer. And I will write that in on here so that you can see that. So, Arcella, tell me, what did you get for the first one as far as the partial product? 46. 46, and then? Uh, 230. 230, okay, and that came out to be 276? Yes. Okay, and then for, for 12 times 23? Uh, 36. 36. And 240. 240, okay, which means it's 276. Okay, so that's the traditional way of checking, and you all, did everybody get that? Can you raise your boards up so I can see? Okay, so it's easy, you understand that? Okay, great. So we're gonna move on today to what our content objective is, which we're, we're going from two by two digit uh, multiplication to three by two digit multiplication. So let's go over our content objective. We will multiply and check with fluency a three digit number by two digit number using the standard method for multiplication but we will do a non-standard method of checking, and it's called casting out lines. And you will love it, you really will. Anyway, and the language objective, of course, we will go over the vocabulary of multiplication and um, casting out lines so we can understand, make sure we review and understand what we're doing, okay? And as I said previously, the, first, the two numbers that you're multiplying the, the top number is your, these are both factors, but the top number is the multiplicand, and the bottom number is the multiplier. The, the, answer you, the first answer you get is called a partial product, the second is a partial product, and the final is your product, okay? So I just wanted to make sure we understood that. Now, I wanna hand out um, this information, and it's important that you pay attention. Why don't you pass that out? Over here. Thank you. You're welcome. Here. And this is exactly what we just went over. But uh, please pay attention to these definitions because you will see this again. Okay? And, and then it's a kind of lesson. So let's just quickly go over this again. Multiplication, looking at your page that I just handed out to you, multiplication is a quick way to put equal numbers together. Okay, 
So in a, instead of having adding 23 12 times, like 23 plus 23 plus 23, it's just 23 times 12, okay? So that's what multiplication is. And the numbers being multiplied, as I said, are the factors. The top number is the multiplicand, and the bottom is the multiplier. The bottom one is normally the smallest number whenever you have odd numbers as far as like if you have a three and a two. The, the, the digit with the two, the one with the two digits, that's the one that will be at the bottom, okay? You put the larger number at the top, okay? And the answer, as I said, is called the product, okay? So let's go on to our new uh, lesson today. Uh, this lesson objective is to learn how to do three digit by two digit multiplication. And basically it's the same thing except you have an additional digit in the top of the multiple can number, okay? So what I want to do, let's remove this, and I'm going to put a problem on the board. Can you see that? I really want to keep the lights on. Can you see that? Or I can, you know what, let me just write it on the board and I'll write it large enough. Okay, let's just write it here. What I want to, what I want you to, I'm going to write 326 times 45. Okay, can you write that on your whiteboard? You can go ahead and erase it. You have an eraser on your marker. And I would suggest writing it like vertically so you can have room. Okay, because the numbers can be larger. And so let's walk through this together. Okay, it's the same principle as the two by two. But we're just going to have um, we just have a larger number in the top. So let's go ahead and get started with. Um, okay, Melissa, we're going to five times six is what? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. So we put the zero. Remember that from the last time, and then you carry your three. Five times two. Ten. Ten. Okay. Plus three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Perfect. And then five times three. Fifteen. Fifteen plus your one. 16, okay, perfect. Now remember, we, we learned about placeholders, and so we need to put a zero here to hold the place of the ones because we're about to multiply in the, the, uh, the tens number, okay? So whenever we start multiplying, the answer must come right underneath that number that we're multiplying by. So four times six, um, Connie, four times six, 24, 24 okay. And we carry out two. Four times two is eight. Eight, okay, plus two is ten. ten. Okay. And then four times three, Abby? Twelve. Twelve plus one. One is thirteen. Thirteen, okay. So what we do, we start adding from the right side. This is exactly like two by two uh, digit multiplication. We add. And just in case we have to carry, we have to make sure we add from the right side, okay? And so our answer is, Trish? 14,670? 670, yes. That is a six. Okay. So this is just straight traditional multiplication. Now, the normal way you would check traditionally is exactly what we did on the two by two, okay? We would flip the numbers, right? So we would write what, uh, Colin? What would we write? Forty-five. Forty-five. And three twenty-six. Times three twenty-six. Okay. Now, one thing I need to let you know: whatever number is the multiplier, that's the number of partial products you will have. Since this number three twenty-six has three digits, there will be three partial products. Does that make sense? I got that? Okay, so let's start multiplying this out. Let's start with our celly. 6 times 5 is 30. 30. 6 times 4 is 24. 24. And then remember we have our 3. A 27. 27. Okay. What do we do here next, uh, Melissa? I'm going to mark a placeholder with a 0. Okay. And then? We multiply by 5 times 2. Okay. 10. 10, okay, and then we carry our 1. 2 times 4? 8 plus 1 is 9. Very good, okay. And let's see, uh, Abby, what do we do next? 
Can we nope. put um, a zero? One zero? Two. Two zeros? Why? Yes. Anybody on the right? Why are we putting two zeros as opposed to one, like we did here? Because we already did one? Yes, we did one here, but uh, you remember the reason why we have placeholders is literally the whole of the place. This number that we're about to multiply by is in what number? The hundreds place. This is the ones, tens, and hundreds, right? So we have the whole, the ones, tens, place. And then when we multiply this times this, we put our into in the hundreds. Does that make sense? Wherever this place is held for the multiplier, that's where your answer needs to start. That makes sense? Yes? Thumbs up if you understand. Thumbs down. I'm not sure. Okay, great. Okay, so we have two placeholders here in the tens, in the ones in the tens place. Three times five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, great class. Okay. Carry one. And then three times four. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, plus one is thirteen. Okay, so remember you start adding from the, the right side column. Okay. So that's zero. Seven, help me out, class. Sixteen. Sixteen. Four. Four. One. That looks like it's the same answer, right? So that's the long way of checking, the traditional way of checking. However, today, I have something new I want to teach you. It's called casting out nines, okay? And so I'll write it out here. Casting out nines. So here I know you're saying, what in the world is casting out nines? Well, I'll explain it to you. Okay. What I want to do, I want to go ahead and I think I want to erase this, this one right here. Let's see, where's my eraser? Because they're the same problem, same answer. We could do either one, it works. But I want to show you something. Um, well, let's do this one, let's do this one because it probably makes more sense. So, but we understand we've got the same answer. I'm going to show you a quick way to get the check to make sure that this answer is the answer to this. Okay, and it's called casting out nines. And basically the concept is this. The two factors and the product, you add these numbers together, the digits. Okay, so we'd have three plus two plus six is equal to what? Three plus two, five, eleven, okay? So add the digits for this factor. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. nine okay? And then not the partial products, but the product. Okay? So we have 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 0. I mean, you can go ahead and write it in. 1 plus 4. 5. 5 plus 6. 11. 11. Okay. Plus 7. 18. 18. Okay. So, now here comes the casting out nines. How this works is this. You add up all the digits in each of, in the factors and in the product. And then you cast out nine or subtract nine or multiple of nine, okay? So, the closest one to 11 would be what? Nine. The closest multiple of nine is nine, right? So, you take minus nine is equal to two, okay? Okay, now, the closest multiple of 9 to 9 is 9. 9, very good. Okay, and what is that? Zero. Zero, okay. So, we do the same thing here. The closest multiple to 18 is what? The closest multiple to 18 is 18, right? Yeah. So we subtract 18 and we get zero. Okay, so this is how you find out if this is the correct answer. You go ahead and multiply what you, what you got here times this. Two times zero is what? Zero. If this is equal to that, your answer is correct. Is that cool? And we took our time going through this, but it was so quick. You can amaze your friend, family and friends with this. It's amazing. It's called casting out nines. You cast out a nine or multiple of nine that's the closest to the answer that you get after you 
add the digits here in your factors and product. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to leave that up there, and we're going to. I'm going to let you do. I have a couple problems. We may be able to get through both of them, but if not, if you get one right, let's try to do the first one. Or maybe what I'll do, I'll have Trish, you, and Abby. Why don't you work on the first one? Okay. Carlin, or seven. You work on the second one, and then I'll let you, why don't you do this one, and then you do the second one, okay? And I'll give you a couple of minutes because I think class, the class is about to ring a little bit. So I'll give you a couple of minutes, and if you have any questions, I want you to talk to your partner. Make sure you understand the concept that we're doing here, and you understand and appreciate the ease of it. I will walk around and see if you, if you have any questions, I can help you. If your partner can't help you. But this concept is called casting out minds. Okay. Now, okay. One, I'm sorry, class. One thing I forgot that ends. The ones that you have, number one, you're going to run into a problem because 5 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 12. And I'm glad you ran into this problem. I purposely did not let you know about this. Whenever you get a double digit, when you're adding the digits together, ideally you end up with one digit, right? Um, where was it? Okay, no. Um, we can do it that way, but we'll go ahead and do it like we're, we're saying. Okay. okay, and then the last thing I want to do before we get ready to go, I want to make sure you understand all of the definitions for multiplication. And um, so, we have a post-assessment quiz slash survey. And you'll have some definitions on it about what we talked about today. So sort of flip your papers over so there's no cheating if you go to the down by the hand versus a multiplier versus a product. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pass this out. Uh, the top part is true and false. And then the last one is a multiplication problem. It's a three by two. Like we worked, and I'd like you to work it. And we have a couple of minutes. I'd like you to work it with the casting out minds. Okay. Anybody have any questions about this process? Okay. Our time's up. Why don't you pass your papers up? I think please put your names on the top, and I will get these back to you first thing in the morning. And this will help me to know where we need to focus on if we need to focus on certain areas of uh, uh, casting out nines or even going over our definitions of multiplication. Uh, did you find it uh, slightly more difficult in the two by two, doing the three by three, or just the casting out nines? That's what I'm trying to find out. Casting out, casting out nines, okay, that's fine. Um, what I'd like you to do, since we only get one problem on the independent, in, independent practice, I'd like you to take that home, and whichever one you did not do, do that as homework, okay? And then bring it in. If you have any questions, we'll go over tomorrow. Uh, the, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to continue with uh, the objective of um, three by two multiplication and casting out lines, but we will also work some work problems using three by two multiplication, just like we did with the two by two. And we actually, like, if you had um, 22 cents, um, and you got 22 cents per chore, and you did 10 chores, that's 22 and 10, multiply those together, how much would you make in, you know, that day, $2.20. So we'll do things like that, work problems, okay? But that's it. Now have a wonderful day, and I will just uh, see you all in the morning, okay?